Number three, calculate the molecular or formula mass of each of the following, and then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find the molecular mass or the formula mass, whichever one you want to say, of water, which is H2O. So in order to find a mass, a molecular mass, of any compound or molecule, the first thing that I like to do is I like to list out all of the individual elements that are in my compound. So first I'm just going to make this bigger, just so I can I have room to write. But now I say to myself, okay, what elements are here? It looks like I have two elements. I have an H and I have an O. So I'm going to break those down. I'm going to say I have an H and I have an O. Okay. Now, for each element, you have to find out the total amount in the compound. So, H stands for hydrogen, and O stands for oxygen. How many hydrogens do you have? Well, I see that I have an H here, but then I have a 2 next to the H. This 2 tells me that I have two hydrogens. So that's what I'm going to write down over here. I have two hydrogens. Now I got to do the same for the oxygen. But, huh, I don't have a number here. So what number do I really have? If you don't see a number next to the element, it's a secret one. You have one oxygen. So I have one of these. And maybe I'll make it black just so that it's the same color. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do for both of these is you're going to multiply the total number that you have times the mass, which is found on the periodic table. Now, for each element, you will always see a whole number and then a bigger decimal number, right? Which one is the mass number, right? One's got to be one thing, the other one's got to be something else. The decimal value or the higher number, it's not always the case, so always go by like the decimal values. The decimal values are always the atomic numbers. So maybe I will actually, no, 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 hold on. Boo -boo. I said, I think I said the wrong thing. The higher numbers are the, uh, molecular masses, not the atomic numbers. So we'll say that these are the mass numbers. So it's the, it's basically the atomic mass. We'll say that. And in this case, the atomic mass is in AMU. You could do grams per mole. That's the other unit that these numbers are in. However, they didn't specify, so I'm just going to leave it as AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. The ones down here and the eights down here, that is the atomic number, aka the number of protons. So you're just going to multiply by the mass that each one has. Now just notice that uh, these mass numbers might not be the same as your mass numbers on the periodic table. It might be a little different, but that's okay. Different periodic tables round differently, so it, it's, it's okay. All right, so now let's just multiply these. So for hydrogen, right, I'm going to multiply the two total by 1.008 AMU. And then for the oxygen, I'm just going to multiply by my 1 by 16.00 AMU. Okay. So obviously one times 16 is 16. So I have a total of 16 AMU for oxygen, and I have a total of 2.016 AMU for hydrogen. But they want the total molecular or formula mass. So what are we going to do to these numbers? Yeah, we're going to add them up. That's how we get the total of all the hydrogens and all the oxygens. Just add up these numbers. So 16 plus 2.016 is 18.016 AMU. And that is the total molecular mass or formula mass of water. So this whole thing, H2O, H2O, this equals 18.016 AMU. All right. So that's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, and that will help us out. So thank you very much for that. 
Keep studying hard. You guys got this. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.